The first iOS 13 jailbreak dubbed Check Rain was slated to be released today. So where is it? Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. In today's video, we're going to be answering that question and more and discussing some of the Check Rain limitations that have recently come to light after POC concluded. First though, I wanted to say we're seriously about to enter a huge golden age of jailbreaking, like jailbreaks right and left. I can't even convey to you guys how awesome CheckRain's going to be. And it's all because of Hacker Luca Tedesco, security researcher Axiom X, who discovered the Checkmate exploit it's based on, and the entire CheckRain development team, because it's more than just Luca. So huge thank you to all of them on behalf of you guys, my awesome subscribers, and from me personally. I really want to say thank you to them and if you guys do too if you want to say thank you personally i will include links to their twitter accounts down below in the description because without them we wouldn't even be able to conceivably dream up such an all-powerful tool as check rain it's seriously fantastic but do not spam them with asks for an eta guys i cannot stress that enough they're under enough stress and duress trying to get this out right now as quickly and efficiently as possible without releasing something that's going to brick your devices so that's what we're doing here today. We're going to be talking about where CheckRain is. So you don't have to ask them. Just send them good vibes, guys. All right, so with that said, where's CheckRain? Luca did give a talk at 1500 hours local time in Seoul, South Korea at POC, Power of Community, a hacking convention. And he was supposed to release the utility after the event concluded, it seemed like. But complications seemingly arose as confirmed by his response to hacker Jake James, where he said, quote, rain spelled with a one instead of an I to reference check rain delayed, but forecast still seems good for today. Now, it's already past today in South Korea where he currently is, but today is definitely relative because here in the States, it is still the 8th at 10.23 a.m. local time as of recording this video. We're on Pacific Standard Time, so South Korea is 17 hours ahead of us, and Hawaii is even earlier than we are here. So he could still make that time frame and still release it today, because again, today is relative. We just don't know what's coming up and what is pushing back the release of the jailbreak, but bugs do come up last minute, and they're just something that's unforeseen that need to be rectified before a release goes out, because as I mentioned, we don't want them pushing something out that's going to brick our devices. We want something that's relatively rock solid from the start, and actually on that subject, in response to Luca, Pwn to Own, who's responsible for releasing a number of recent jailbreak utilities, guys, seriously, he himself is a rock star in his own right, said, quote, the best bugs are the ones that appear 15 seconds before the release and break the plans. Source, myself. Release of Uncover version 3 beta 29 with initial iOS 12 support and pretty much every other major release I have made. So guys, this just goes to show that problems come up last minute, plans are delayed, and setbacks occur. It's not the end of the world because even if this doesn't come out today, the 8th, when it does come out, it's going to revolutionize the jailbreak scene because we're going to be getting a permanent jailbreak that in theory will function on every single version of iOS 13. In fact, future versions of iOS as well, probably even up to iOS 15 and before iOS 16 when Apple will likely start to phase out and in support for the iPhone 10, which is the latest device supported by CheckRain. So this thing's going to be coming. It's only a matter of time. We don't know exactly when, but a huge limitation of this, as we've discussed here on the channel previously, is that it's only going to support Windows. So at launch, it's only going to work for a small subset of users, as we've discussed previously here on the channel in past videos. We haven't really talked about it recently, but it is a new topic that came up after POC. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that. If you only have a Windows PC, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to jailbreak unless you can gain access to a friend's or someone you know Mac, because that's going to be the only way to jailbreak at launch, unfortunately. But, but just be patient, guys, because a jailbreak for Windows is going to come. It's not a matter of if 
only when. And when that happens, I'm going to let you guys know first. So be sure to click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. I'll keep you fully updated throughout the way as well. And I'll let you know anytime we have new updates or information concerning the potential release of the Windows Check Rain jailbreak utility. But on that subject, delving a little further into it, Jamie Bishop, who's involved with Check Rain, said, quote, setting expectations, the initial release of Check Rain is going to support Mac OS. Rest assured, Windows and Linux support are are coming, but not initially. A comment about Windows support. It's incredibly complex and much harder to achieve than most people would think. Ideally, all platforms would be supported for the first version, but that's unfortunately not going to happen. And Luca did also confirm that even if you have Windows with Mac OS set up inside of a virtual environment, so you have a VM or virtual machine set up on your Windows PC, it's not going to work because someone said in response to Jamie Bishop that it seems like an easy fix, tell them to run Mac OS in a VM and Luca said, quote, a VM, virtual machine, won't do unless you remap an entire USB controller. So you're going to need access to a real Mac or a Hackintosh, which is basically installing Mac OS on a non-Apple machine, which I actually have done myself personally. It's a little bit involved and it's not for your average everyday user. So I would highly recommend just waiting for official Windows support. It's going to come, but first we have to get Mac OS. And even on that subject, there's going to be a limitation there as well. See, Mac OS is not going to get a GUI or graphical user interface, which is something that we're used to when we think of computer-based jailbreak utilities. Heck, throwback time, Red Snow, which was the last jailbreak that could really be compared to what we're about to receive with Checkrain, was a GUI or graphical user interface. This is going to be CLI or command line interface. So you're going to have to use terminal and you're going to have to be familiar with running terminal commands and comfortable with that to even be able to jailbreak. It's not hard. I'm going to show you guys how to do it here once check ring is officially released, but just know that and know that it's going to be a little bit more intricate than just plugging your device into your computer, entering DFU mode and clicking a couple of buttons. So guys, that basically wraps up everything I want to talk about in today's video. Know that check rain is coming and it's coming soon. Also know that Windows support is not going to be there at initial release and that it seems like it's going to be improved upon and there will be updates to it and future iterations will include extra support. I really hope this video helped you guys out and uh, let me know down below in the comment section what you're most excited about when thinking about Checkrain and the future possibility of jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.